With no winning tickets sold since September, the Mega Millions jackpot grew to a billion dollars. That is, until last night's numbers were drawn, and Alex Hogan is live with more. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alicia. Well, if you want a billion dollars, what is the first thing you would buy or place you would go or person you would help? A lot of those conversations around the country, and now one person will have to make that decision. The lucker, lucky player is in Michigan, that person winning $1 billion. This is the second largest single jackpot in U.S. lotto history, the first being $1.5 billion, one in South Carolina in 2018. This Michigan player now has two choices. Option one, one, take home some of the money and get paid out over the next 30 years. Or option two, grab the cash, which is about $739.6 million before taxes. The magic numbers are 4, 26, 42, 50, and 60, and the mega ball is 24. Ten tickets matched with the five white balls to win the second prize. Tickets spread out around the country worth one to two million dollars. I have a whole list of things I would do. New shoes, new car, new house, heater for my pool, um, send my kid off to college, so lots of good things. But I don't have to be the big winner. I could just be four numbers would be good. And that's right, so don't throw out those tickets just yet because coming in third place doesn't sound too bad either. 187 tickets matched four numbers and the Mega Ball. That prize will get you ten to $20,000. All of this coming just two days after someone in Maryland won the Powerball. It's the fifth largest single lottery prize in U.S. history. The more than $731 million ticket sold in the coal mining town of Lona Koenig. No worries on the player. Maryland is one of the states where winners can keep their identity hidden and the convenience store that sold that lucky trick a ticket. They also will be getting their fair cut $100,000. So a big exciting weekend for a lot of people Alicia around the country. Absolutely. Alex Hogan, what a way to start the year for some of those folks. Thanks so much.